so now coming to setting up a quality gate while preparing a test strategy we always um, tend to answer all the wh questions that what we are going to do it how we are going to do it and why we are doing it okay so a step one will always be identify the goal of testing irrespective of whether it's a, a mobile app and then let's say we have a web app and then uh, microservices to serve uh, to serve the api calls right so irrespective of what ever the pieces are we first have to identify what we have what we are going to achieve with testing okay which is in this case is validate input output basically request and response validating context basically a conversation flow and validate the bot response on the ui on the ui specifically how bot is respond responding and how we can see the response from ui specification and validating the usability whether let's say if i reply instead of where is my order i reply order where you you never know how the end customer will ask the question right in what format or in in what sentence so that comes under the usability okay so identifying the goals of testing is very important because it gives you a vision that what testing level or what um type of testing you are going to include next we have map the goals with the testing levels and type it basically means that let's say my goal is validating input output or validating context let uh, for an instance then how i'm going to test it that is i'm going to test via api test or um, or the uh, let's say not super test super test is another js library then let's say rest assured so under which testing umbrella it comes whether it's a api testing or le let's say whether it's a ui test for example the bot response on the ui uh how i'm going to use uh, how i'm going to test it if it's a web app then it can be a ui test if it's say, in the mobile then we can add it as a part of mobile test okay but again it comes under the ui testing only okay and validate the usability it's it again comes under the ui test so um when we have identified that what all testing type will be needing or what whatever types of testing we are going to do we, the third step is to consider the cross functional requirement let's say a uh, cross functional requirements uh, they are majorly revolves around the security testing performance testing usability testing which we us usually tend to miss because we think that okay we our whole responsibility is to do a functional testing which is just uh, around how it looks in ui and let's say if we are doing um service test microservices testing like uh, from postman what request i we are sending and what response we'll be getting so we tend to miss all these three layers okay uh there are certain uh, organization where i agree that the roles are fixed for example the test automation person has to do just test automation and then they have a performance tester separately but we can still sit sit together and then see what kind of coverage we can build in case of performance test what are the functional testing scenarios okay because at the end at the performance test level also we have to send the injections in the form of scenarios okay so the scenarios will not be always constant mm, okay so now the step 4 is picture the overall strategy so first we have identified the step of objective uh, set objectives of testing in the left in between we have seen that defining what to test at, at every level and step 3 is cross functional testing so in this kind of uh, ecosystem or in this kind of scenario we have opted for test pyramid the reason is that we want to cover the majority of the test or the majority uh, test coverage within at the unit level after that at the service level we wanted to check the integration basically with the api test and at the top we have the ui test which is comparatively minimal in nature 
and with ui test we are going to just cover the end to end scenarios the very um, brief basically a user journey for example i have opened the app i have opened the chatbot i mentioned where is my order and then the chatbot replied with you place this order at this time at from this place it will take this much of time this is the eta and then you move away from um, uh, this chatbot app from swiggy another scenario another end to end scenario is that you go you open the chatbot uh, from swiggy and then you mention that um i want a refund because the quality is not good they ask you to select the items and then they'll start the refund after a certain set of conversation so these are considered as the end to end scenario it those those scenarios will be covered as a part of ui test so um the test pyramid structure is just like a, again it's a triangular pyramid where the majority of the chunk will be covered at the unit test then service basically the integration test and the ui test now there is a misconception that at the service test we can only cover the api test okay which is not so at the service level or at the integration test level we can add um, the api test which are basically rest or graphql in nature second one is the kafka related test because we are in that with that also we are going to check the integration there are certain places where um, where they include the infrastructure test also because with infrastructure test we usually check the integration okay so it just not api test it's a combination of different test or maybe one or two test as per the ecosystem of uh, client or a project that you have currently okay so again okay so the third step is the cross functional testing which includes the usability performance and security and this is the overall or uh, this is the um, basically a full fledged test strategy which is technical in nature okay now we have we have again this misconception that once we have decided with the test strategy that is fixed so ideally the test strategy should evolve as as and when we add a component for example let's say um, if our chatbot supports uh, ai ml or there are certain models introduced in that so ideally my my uh, test strategy test strategy should not just be you know testing the integration test or end to end test or let's say um, exploratory or the ui test it should also include contract test and uh, other test around model bias let's say model related ui uh, ai ml model related test okay so the crux of this is that it should evolve as and when we make uh, changes or we introduce new components in the architecture okay and the sixth step is that don't assume and raise questions so for example uh, what will be the response if bot, bot is down do we have any uh, roll back process do you have any garbage test uh, text handling process okay so again don't uh, have a trust on what you see our, our literally job is to always raise questions uh, with respect to why this is why this is happening and to find a breaking point within that okay so we always have um, this mindset of uh, why this is going uh, let's say this much of smooth is there is there any issue that we can actually find with the um, with let's say uh, in this app or within our test test strategy also is there anything else uh, which we are missing and maybe there can be a issue while uh, deploying in prod okay so we always have a sharp eye with respect to uh, any gap or any failures okay so we have seen till now is that how we should approach with the test strategy and within this use case we have seen how we can use how we how we have used the test pyramid 